Good morning, YouTube. I'm starting a new project here a little bit. I've already kind of messed with it, but the plans have changed a lot um, as far as what it was going to be. Um, it's a lawnmower, so hopefully you guys like that. I was working on the truck there this morning, and I got the emergency brake working on it, so that's kind of a, a bonus. And now I'm moving on to something different here. This is, uh, I think I might have put it on a video already, but this is the Univol. And it's got the three speed Peerless in it. And yeah, so it's an old jalopy, but it's, I kind of like that about it. That's the old Murray's motor just chilling in there, but I think I'm gonna pull that out and save that for something else. I think she's gonna be fitted with this here. It's, uh, I don't think I've ever seen it run, but it's uh, just a 12 horse flathead. And uh, nothing special about it, really. So I think I'll just see if I can get it on the seas because right now it won't even turn over. And I'm sure I got enough bits and bobs to put it all back together. And then as far as this machine goes, it's not going to be for speed. It's not going to be for racing around or doing anything like that. It's going to have a mild pulley swap as in like maybe I'm thinking the mower deck here, that six inch or whatever that is. I'm thinking putting that on the front and then on the rear of it, just stock. And then I'm going to lock the rear end. And it's going to be basically just used for hauling wood out or stuff around down at the camp. So I need something there. And I'd like something that I can just leave there. Put a little trailer on behind it. It's already got the hitch. So the hitch is bent, but I can reinforce that. So yeah, that's the plan for this one. We'll start taking a look at her here. All right, so I got her standing up on end here. And uh, I had been planning to use this for like racing around. So I welded this front end so that it wouldn't articulate. But now that it's gonna be in the woods, I want it to articulate. So I cut the welds off that, got that to move again. And then uh, I just look and it's just kind of hanging out there. The wheels aren't touching the ground perfect time to pull that rear end. This is a first for me. These rims here are those ones with the slotted axles. And I've, at all the mowers I've ever had, I've never once had one of these slide right off. I took the center bolt out of it, pulled the rim right off. Unbelievable. I think it's because it has an axle seal leak though, to be honest with you. But the either way, first for that for me. There she is in all her glory. Pretty cool, really. <laughs> Never heard one of these before. There you go. So I pulled out, I don't know, six or eight bolts around this outside piece here and tapped on this and was able to slide that down. This is an oil filled transverse axle, so that's something to keep in mind. I should have drained the oil on it. Uh, but anyway, it revealed the gears for the differential, so that's great. So I'm gonna do the Fearless Front Style Locker and I'm just gonna clean this all up as far as the oil goes and I'm gonna weld there. And on the other side here. All right, so I'm all prepared here to put the first tack on. I got uh, degreased the shaft here and the spider gear and I am doing this Fearless Front Style. So if you don't know what that means, that means that I weld this shaft to the spider gear and I leave the axles alone. And that's beneficial because if you're on turbulent ground or your axles are moving and stuff, if you just weld the spider gears, the two of them together, I've had them break before. So you're better off welding these gears to the center shaft. And then that way there, the axles still have a little bit of movement to them. So they're not stuck rigid. And uh, it's 
quite likely your, your locking job is going to last longer this way. There it is, tacked, and I run the welder. I know it sounds terrible, the band's bad in it. Um, on the highest heat setting and the lowest wire speed. And uh, now I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. All right, I'm packed up on this side now. And uh, that's the, the worst of it. Now I have to go and I have to get this spider gear section out of here. And I believe to do that, you have to drive that pin out right there. And then, uh, shoot, you know what? I'm, I can't do that. Well, this is gonna be a little different. I guess I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to weld it around here as much as I can possibly get at it from just looking at it. And then I'm gonna have to weld these spider gears together, I guess. I hate to do that because like I was saying earlier, you get the flex here, right? But I know that just those that little section on either side will not hold up, so I'll have to do the gears. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, this this is different than on the regular rear ends. So you can't actually take it apart. So. Pretty sick, eh? What a shame. Anyway, it is what it is. If you move this, there should still be some flex because. This is like a spline, this axle if it goes into a spline in the spider gear. So it should be able to flex inside of that a little bit. And where this assembly's all together, I'm hoping that by me welding these spider gears together, it won't break. Time will tell though, I guess. All right, I'm gonna start just welding away. Weld on your hottest heat setting and do your best. Make sure you try and clean this the, uh, the grease off it so that you know it's bond uh. Alright, so I screwed up. Um, I'll show you why. So, what I should have done, <laughs> when I welded this, I should have welded it there, welded it on the other side of that spider gear, and then welded it the back side here, right there right here and then on the other side the exact same thing and that would have been sufficient for locking this and then because at least i would have had those two points right so it, that spider gear never would have come off come loose but what i had said at the last of it there is oh, i'll try welding the gear to the other gear which i hate doing and i wish i hadn't have done it but it's done now and um, because I never really thought of welding this backside at the time. But after I realized I could, I did it. So just for a little extra. And then I figured if I do that, I won't worry about welding this gear to the spider gear. And then I should have done the same with this, but I had already welded it at that point. So I had to continue on and rotate it and weld it on the other side too. And then I thought just to make sure that it doesn't come off there. I'll weld the back side of it too. So I welded the back side on it. And then the back side there and the gears together. And then my little bit on there, there. And on the back side and on the back side. And I didn't weld where that key is. And I'm hoping that that will give me a little bit of wiggle room in that axle. But as of right now, it doesn't move. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm assuming it's just all the slag in there. But anyway, so just a heads up. I wouldn't recommend welding these gears together. I would recommend welding here and on the inside, on both sides. And then done. Leave it. So... Anyway, that's my two cents on that. The way I got it here should be okay. Time will tell.